All right, everybody. I'm Chris, and I'm going to talk about uh, non-list formatting things today. Crazy. All right, let's go back over to the uh, – there we go. All right, and uh, as we're not talking about list formatting, uh, we're not going to talk about horses. And, in fact, we're going to talk about uh, some other people, some mockingbirds, right? So the mockingbirds have a site uh, where they focus largely on being incredibly mean birds. Uh, that's just how mockingbirds are. They're just mean, mean birds. Um, and as they're doing this, they thought, you know what we need? Uh, we need some of that co-pilot action, right? We need one of those uh, PVA uh, type things, right? So let's quickly uh, spin one up, and then we're going to talk about how we can change that a little bit else, right? So we can have ways to bring that into Teams, but uh, we want to do a little more than just bring our co-pilot into Teams. We want to bring a few other things in side by side. So let's do that. All right, Mockingbirds, what you got? So if we head over to our co-pilot studio, former PVA, all right, we can hit new co-pilot here. All right, I'm just going to call this thing Mockingbird. All right. I'm going to go to advanced options because I don't want lesson topics. No, thank you. But I could change a few other things here. I'm not doing anything with AI. You could. Um, that would be a very fancy demo, of course. Um, you know, I'm sure you've not seen anything on AI uh, recently. So uh, I will say the best part of Copilot Studio was that animation right there. I, I mean, there's lots of cool stuff in here. But if you guys watch that animation end to end as it builds that bot up, it's pretty awesome. All right. So we've got ourselves a little chat bot here. Um, and we're going to go right through this here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I don't like that that greeting, right? So I'm going to go over to topics right over here, and I'm going to go over to my I don't have any topics. Well, that's <laughs> let's just refresh that. We don't have any topics. How are you working? All right, let's see. All right, let's go to our topics. Ah, there we're now. We've got topics. Wonderful. All right, go to our system topics, and that's that conversation start topic, and we're going to edit that thing. All right, let's just click on that thing, and I'm just going to change it to be less friendly. All right. So this should say, yo, I'm this bot, right? And then we'll just say, uh, what you want? There we go. Perfect. Very kind. Okay. So we'll save that. And now we can see that, you know, if we refresh this thing, now we get a, an awful green. Very nice. And now we're going to go to our topics one more time. And I'm going to add a topic, uh, probably not the way you should. Uh, but for the purpose of this demo, it's going to work great. And that's that I'm going to have this topic respond to everything. So everything that has a message received is just going to go here. All right, so we're going to hit plus. My plus is over there. Let's uh, let's send a message, right? And so we're going to send a message. We're going to say, oh, I'm, and then we're going to add a username, right? So we'll say user. Let's see, system. There you go, user display name. Oh, I'm Chris Kent, right? And I say, all right, and then we're going to mock them, right? So let's add a quick little formula here. I'll just write this out. It'll be exciting. Uh, let's see if I can find that formula. Oh, there it is. I hand wrote it, so that's exciting. Okay, so we're going to split. All right, so we're going to split the system.lastmessage.txt. So whatever we just received, right? We're going to take that, and we're going to split it by nothing because we just want individual characters. And then we're going to put them all back together with concat. That makes sense. All right, well, and the reason we're doing that is because concat, unlike a join, can actually execute a little function here, right? So in this case, we're going to put a little if statement. Right? We're going to say uh, random, ran between. All right, we're going to say one and two. And we're going to say if it equals two, then we're going to say upper, right, our character. We're going to randomly upper low, or lowercase our response here. Uh, yeah, right, and we're going to say, and then... We're also not going to join with any characters. Boom. Let's see if that works. All right. So now we've got that guy. And let's go ahead and end our topic as well. All right. So let's go to our topic management. We're going to end the current topic. Bye-bye. Oh, one thing I just realized I forgot, very important, is the final quote to know that we are quoting you and mocking you. All right. Perfect. So let's save that. And let's test our beautiful bot here. How are you, bot? Let's see. All right. So we get our nasty little message here. And then we say... I would like to do fancy AI stuff. Can you help me? All right, and we should get ourselves a nice response. Like, oh, I'm Chris Kent, and I say, I would like to do fancy AI stuff. Can you help me? Isn't that nice? All right, so that's our little bot. Perfect. Now, obviously, we could have done a lot more with this bot. You can go crazy with bots. I just needed a bot, right? So now we've got ourselves a bot, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to go to our settings. And we go copilot details. I'm going to change the icon uh, quickly to the, uh, oh, no, yeah, right 
right there. Ah! I'll grab that guy. I've got a nice little icon all ready to go. Beautiful. All right, we'll save it. I can do a few other things here. None of that matters. I'm going to publish this thing. All right, so let's go publish this guy. I'll give it a second while it publishes and it's doing all that stuff. And that's going to make it available in a lot of different ways. And again, we could do this, um, you know, but deploy it directly to Teams right here from Copilot Studio. I found there's uh, some real weird issues with like the icons and some other stuff. Um, and if you want to manipulate some of that stuff, uh, then there's not really some of the uh, the tweaks and knobs and bells and whistles, those are words, uh, inside the Copilot Studio to do that, right? Whereas in our Teams manifest, we can. So let's do that. So we head over to our channels, right? And we go over to our Teams and we say, yeah, turn on Teams, turn it on. All right, and we'll give it a second while it adds that channel. All right, and there you go. We've got our mockingbirds. That's all great. We could try and we could edit the details if we wanted. You could again, you could set the picture and other stuff here. I will tell you, it won't come out great because it's trying to generate PNG images uh, with a transparent icon. Anyway, I don't like it. Don't do it. All right, then you can change your short description. Right, we can say make you feel bad. All right, and we can change our long description. Make you feel real bad. Sounds good. All right, and then we're going to save those changes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit availability options, and this is where we actually can download the zip. All right, so we can actually download the whole Teams manifest here. So that's exciting. Wow. So let's open that. Come on now. All right, so now we bring that over here. Now we have ourselves a little manifest. We've got the two icons, and that's exciting. We're going to throw away most of this. I'm just going to grab that manifest, and let's head over to my... Teams manifest folder, which I have put on the other window conveniently. All right, we'll bring it here and I'm just going to take this. I've got a little manifest folder where I've already had gone ahead and I put in my two icons that I generated myself. All right, and I'm going to grab this manifest. I'm going to bring it in there. And so technically I could zip this up and I've got to do manifest with better icons and wow, 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 wow. That's exciting, right? Or uh, we could come over here and let's open up uh, our manifest right into Visual Studio. Let's take a look at it. All right, let's see what's in there. Woo! All right, so here's some of those things we saw, right? We could adjust some of these things if we wanted, but for what we need, for a bot, it's all good to go, right? Uh, so if we took this and we deployed this, uh, we can do that. It'll be a bot, it'll show up. I'm trying to see, do I don't have the time for that? So I'm gonna skip that, because uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding stuff to it, then we'll see it with the stuff in there. Very exciting. Okay, so the first thing that's pretty obvious that you could do, uh, at least for a very short period of time here, <laughs> is to add a website. Right, so the way we do that is we just add a tab, right? We add static tabs, and we're gonna add that right after our bots, right? So we're gonna add static tabs. And in this case, I'm gonna put, you know, an entity ID of whatever I want. I'm just gonna call this the site tab. All right, and then I want it to say it's a, it's the portal, right? So that's gonna be our mockingbird bird site. All right, and then I'm gonna say a content URL is just gonna be that HTTPS com slash site slash mockingbird. So I think so. Yeah, nice try, Hub Copilot. All right, let's see uh, scopes. All right, what are scopes? Oh, it did get that one right. There we go, scopes personal, perfect. All right, so now we have the idea of a site and we could add that, although Microsoft has just announced this is going away. Uh, the idea of being able to add sites as tabs and so on. But, you know, hey, uh, for, for our demo, that's exciting. We could do that. And so if we were to save that and Again, bundle that up. We could put that in there. Uh, again, for time, I'm going to skip ahead just to SPFX, and then I'll come back and we'll demo all of that. So what if we wanted to add SPFX, right? So SPFX has the ability, right? You can do a supported Teams host, and you go to the app catalog, and you can deploy it to Teams, and that's all a fantastic way to do that. Um, you know, and feel free to do all that. But what I'm doing is a little bit different, right? So I want this app only available as part of my app. Right, so as part of this larger chat app, I want the SPFX showing up there. I don't want it in SharePoint, I don't want it in the Canvas, any of that stuff. Right, so what I've done is I've got a web part and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, the stuff for that web part and we'll explain what is going on here. So let me just grab it from a different manifest. All right, and it's just another static tab. All right, so a comma and then we're gonna enter this one. Now here, what's going on here? Let's zoom a little bit, wah, okay. So you'll see there's some other stuff in here and I will show you where you can get this URL to customize. A uh, couple of things I've done that are a little bit different, right, is instead of going to the root site, I'm actually going directly to the Mockingbird site. Now that's not needed uh, and you would only wanna do that if you've got access to everyone for that. Um, and that would be appropriate if you've got a, a site 
uh, collection app catalog, right? So you've got a site collection app catalog, point to it here, and it'll be only in the site collection uh, that you're pointing to. So that's exciting, right? So you put this little thing here. Uh, there's also, if you're gonna make this a configurable tab, I don't have any configuration, there's nothing in my property pane, right? So if I had any configuration, I could put a, make this configurable tab instead. Again, there's guidance on the website, I'm gonna skip it. And we'll come back here. So I've saved this. Now, one thing when you add this is you still have to add one more little piece here. It's the same every time. So you can actually cut and paste this from the website. But if you don't do this, you get a big error and say, why don't it work? And you cry. And that's this guy right here. And this, what this does, allows those API calls uh, to go through. Okay. And log in and all that. All right. So we saved that. Beautiful. Now, if we head back to that folder, right, to our manifest folder, one thing people a lot of times will copy that zip the folder and try to zip up the folder that will mess up you want to copy just the files directly you can windows you can right click and you can say send to zip all right we'll just call that our mockingbird uh, zip exciting okay and then we're going to head over here to our teams we'll hope the teams don't crash on me now all right and i've got side loading enabled right so let me see manage my apps uh, i'm going to upload an app and we're going to go to our manifest there's mockingbird all right, and let's, so we see make you feel bad, make you feel real bad, all those things we added, very exciting. All right, I didn't specify my developer name. We could do that as well. That would be a good idea. We'll add that here. And what that's gonna do is gonna go ahead and add that bot with our couple of tabs on it, right? So now we can see we've got our chat right here. You want Mockingbird, what you want, right? I'm gonna say, why are you in Teams? All right, and of course we get a message back. So all that's working, awesome. But then we also have, our portal here, right? So we're bringing in um, our site right here. So it's side by side along with our app. And then we also have our SPFX app, All right? So this is an app I did not need to make, but I made anyway, and I'm gonna show it one second and then uh, we'll be done here. Cause I know I'm out of time here. Uh, let's see, let's go back here. Let's just grab Seth, Seb. Uh, Chef Seb's gonna be, become a bird. How about that? Chef Seb. All right, Bertalizing Chef Seb, there you go. Chef's a, he's a bird. We improved his ugly face, right? So that's pretty exciting. But the idea is you can have this SPFX app, right? And I wonder if that would work on our together mode. I'm just interested to find out. Let's find out here. There we go. You're all a bunch of birds. Look at that, Bertalized for no reason at all. All right, so that's exciting. But then you can add more things, right? So I'm going to add one more thing, and I won't deploy it just because I know Paolo's got to, to go here. And that is Power Apps, right? So a lot of times you want to add a Power App. If you want to add a Power App, uh, what you'll do is you actually go and you can download the zip uh, for the Power App. It'll open up a manifest for you. Uh, so if you go to the Share, uh, let me just show you. Actually, I'm talking and I'm not sharing, and that's very sad. All right, if we go over to our Power App, right? So if we have a Power App, right? We can go over to our uh, under here. We can go to our Details, right? And instead of playing, we go up to Share. We actually have this add to teams button here, All right? And so then we can actually hit add to teams or you can download the app, which will again, give you a very nice manifest where you can copy all the information out of that and then add it to your manifest as well. In this case, uh, I'm gonna add it very, very quickly just so you can see it. And then we'll move on to Paolo. Don't worry, Paolo, don't cry, don't cry. Okay, uh, where's that manifest? It's around here somewhere, what are those? Manifest, there you are. All right, so on our manifest, we've just added another tab here. Uh, and all I've done is I've copied this directly out of that thing it downloaded for me. Um, and you'll see it's got all this extra junk in there. And what it's doing is actually passing all this information to your app, which is really cool. So you could do things like theme responsive. One thing I'll say doesn't add is this one right here, add this query string, which is skip mobile redirect. This will prevent when they use it on their phone, being prompted to go download the Power Apps app and use it there, which will be really irritating uh, and a real disconnect experience. But if you add that, they won't have that problem uh, and it'll work just nicely right inside there. And so then you get everything side by side and all the theming and everything works and you have a nice app and it's so exciting. And uh, yeah, and of course you could pop it out you can do everything you need with it, right? So you can see it as a standalone app all by itself and it's really cool. All right, and uh, that's it for me, woo.